Hey there, Matt Filio here in my studio. Today showing you how to package a large painting. So I have a 30 by 40 inch acrylic on canvas that I did of a painting of Daniel Prang. You might have seen this before. And this is titled The Fire of Fervent Prayer. But this might give you some ideas on how to package a large painting for shipment. So first thing we want to do, step number one, is to cover the painting in plastic. So I use the plastic that this painting, that this canvas was shipped to me in. And uh, then I used shrink wrap, which is, or, or stretch wrap, and just put it around the outsides and made it really tight so it has it on all the edges here, as you can see. And uh, now that's holding this plastic very tight to the surface. For acrylic paintings, typically plastic will work very well. And what you want to do is just create a barrier um, against scuffs. And the, the shrink wrap and the plastic in the front will create a good barrier just in case something could scuff the painting. Now the next step after that is to lay it flat with the image side down. And we're gonna lay this onto a piece of hardboard. So I have hardboard, and you can see that here, just a piece of hardboard cut to the same size as the canvas 30 by 40 inches. You can get hardboard at your local improvement store. Um, this is 1 8 inch thick hardboard, 1 8 inch thick. Um, so it's somewhat flexible, but it's very, very rigid. And if a package, or I should say, something would attempt to gouge the package while in transit, this board should do a good job of deflecting any piercings or lacerations. So we're going to lay this down onto that hardboard image side down because that's the most important side. Now that we have this very rigid surface, if something were to try to puncture the canvas, it's got something firm. It's not going to poke through the canvas all the way. Now with cardboard, you'd be amazed. You'd think that cardboard, um, corrugated cardboard is really tough and durable, but it actually doesn't take a whole lot to pierce. Card I have a piece of scrap cardboard and a you know, these are sharp scissors and we just kind of poke them through. It doesn't take much, you know, for it to go completely through the cardboard. And you can imagine if you have people with pallet jacks and you've got other packages with sharp corners and they're getting jam packed. All it takes is one of those sharp corners or a pallet jack or some piece of metal um, to totally lacerate the cardboard and it can go through a couple couple layers of cardboard and potentially pierce your canvas. So that's why I have the hardboard on there that should protect from that. So now that we have the hardboard flush against the surface of the canvas, the next step is just to give it an extra layer of cushioning. And I'm gonna be using this foam. And actually I tell you what, I should have put the foam down first. So let's do that. All right, so I have the foam down, and again, you can buy this foam sheet at Walmart, oftentimes, or other places that sell shipping supplies. You'll see that with bubble wrap. Um, you can use bubble wrap, but this uh, this particular foam is a little thinner, so. If you have a package, it's pretty tight and encompasses the canvas very tightly, then you're gonna want something that's thinner like this so, so it'll fit. So the goal of the, um, the foam sheet is just to add a little additional cushioning so that when the cardboard box goes around it, nothing is jostling around because anytime you have anything jostling around, that's when damage can occur. So what we're gonna do <clears throat> is just tape the corners up and this will really provide a lot of cushioning for the corners. That's another thing it'll do. 
And we're just going to tape each corner like this. We fold them over on themselves. As you may or may not be able to see, based on the camera angle, you might be able to see some of these other ones a little better. The front side you probably see a little bit better. So you make a fold like this, if you can see this. You fold it over and then fold it diagonally. We're just going to tape this on there. Strapping tape. Uh, don't use masking tape for sure. That just doesn't hold and it tears. Don't use scotch tape, which would be the stuff you used in grade school, the skinny stuff. Use good wide packaging tape. So here you can see we fold it over like this. We're going to fold it again diagonally and then we're just going to tape it around so that stays nice and tight. When you're done, it should look something like this. Now, you want to add some additional support for this cardboard piece and keep that in place. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to shrink wrap around the edges of this and get it in place a little more securely. Just start here, you're going to hold down on one end and wrap that stretch, stretch wrap all the way around. Lift up a little bit. Looks like I had a piece from the old one on there. Get that to stay. Might have to hit it a couple of times. Okay, we're going to wrap around again. Flip this upright. We're really adding, adding some cushioning to the corners. That's what you want to do, add cushioning to the corners. After you get enough wraps going all the way around, you can just pull on it and it'll tear off and it'll stick to itself. You can also add shrink wrap going around it as well. It wouldn't hurt. It's uh, $8 for a spool of this, so it's well worth it to be liberal with the use of it. Use as much as you have to. We're going to go maybe about one third of the way in and just wrap this around like so. Around. Let me just keep this going all the way to the edge. All right, now, now we have something that's really nice and secure. We've got that hardboard piece right where we want it, covering up the artwork. We have the uh, foam sheet on top, and then we have some shrink wrap holding everything tightly in place. And now we'll be moving on to the next step, which is putting this within a cardboard box.